hello welcome to quadrant card official in this video i will show you how to design a 3d lamp in autocad first of all we will start with the units so you enter u and unit then you change the decimal to architectural then you select ok after that you select the rectangle and you draw to any dimension okay. after you extrude the rectangle apples you extrude it apples to any height you want after you have done this one you will change the viewport to top then you select rectangle again and draw a small rectangle beside the big rectangle after that you move the rectangle into the big rectangle After that then you change the viewport to the map you change it to three dimension then you move the rectangle upwards after you have moved the, you select press pull and you press pull the small rectangle to the bottom then you see it conceptual you have made some hole inside the lamp sheet And you change the viewport to top again. And you select rectangle. And you draw. No, you don't want to. You want to attach the wall lamp to the wall. So you remove this one. Let's change the viewport again. You draw a small rectangle rectangle beside the big one then you move the small rectangle inside the two rectangles after that you move the small rectangle upwards. Then you extrude upwards. After we are going to make um, the wall. So we change the, um, the view to front. Let's check the front. Front. No, let's change it again. Let's change it. No, I want to change it again. Let's left. Okay. Let's switch the left. And you expand the rectangle, which is going to be the wall. You expand it. After that, you select region, region the rectangle, you select object and right click. So, this is how it will be in conception. This is how the lamp will be. So, we are going to add the effects the light and other effects with so go to material browser 
material browser you select global you duplicate the global after duplicate you rename it to the lamp then you, you edit you edit the lamp let's change the color you change the color of the object change the color change it to yellow which is going to be the light and then select ok um, self illumination then you change it to frosted bulb mm -hmm. then close it you select the bulb which is inside the lamp shape then you assign to selection It will go back again and you name that one sheet. For your love, I go fix it, man. Baby, I can. Cause this thing I feel inside. They wear me down. You had it. Change the color. And no lights out. Now my face, you go look down on. But I've been now, I'm not like that. You slow, slow, slow. Do me slow, my bina. Do the fast, they go. After you have done, you select OK. We are going to reflect the light, so we choose reflectivity of the object. And you select the object, then you assign to selection. And the last one is the wall. So duplicate again in the same process. Change to wall. You right click at the end, then you edit. Change the color. Let's change the color to. Let's make it blue. After you done, you select OK. We are not going to refer to anything, so you just select the object and assign the selection. We are done with the lighting effect, so we are going to render it. And the rendering we are going to render is from low to high. So we will change to high and render to size. I'm going to render it. This is how the lamp will be after the rendering to be different from the wood. Your rendering can be nice and due to your machine graphics resolution. So if you machine have a big graphic resolution you can have the best rendering which will make the material more realistic so this is how to design a wall lamp in AutoCAD and in our next video I will show you how to design a different lamp which is going to be an, um, a different design apart from this one so like comment and subscribe to this channel for more videos and don't forget to share share this video to any design student architecture and other students to know how the card works so, this is how the rendering will be.